Okay, hi, this is Paul. Sorry about a bit of background noise here. I want to show a couple of the new things in XT22 we have coming, um, especially the Unison module. So uh, if you remember, many of the uh, many of the modules in Surge have built-in Unison. And so um, oh, you'll notice one of the new features here, we can auto-connect pairs. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and play some notes. Ah, I'm muted. Sorry, let me unmute the Mixmaster here. Right. right. But in Surge, we have this concept of unison, which will basically play three of the voices spread them across the stereo field, slightly detuned, which is super nice sound. Um, and many of the modules face uh, have this, um, uh, but not every other oscillator does. So if I delete classic here and grab, you know, our favorite VCO here, go like this, go like this. I should have done square to make it exactly the same, a triangle. We don't get the unison. So how can we invite other oscillators into the surge unison processing? That's essentially the process of the unison module. There's a local build here, it's marked as alpha. What the unison module does is it acts essentially as two things, a CV manipulator and a mixer. So I'm gonna grab my VCA here, I'm gonna unconnect this, and the Unison has a volt per octave in and an audio out. So I'm going to hook the audio up out. Okay, great. Um, and then I'm going to take the volt per octave from my keyboard and I'm going to send it here to the Unison input. And essentially what the Unison input has now is it has voices, detune, drift. Um, it also has a built-in uh, uh, high and low pass filter uh, utility. Um, and it has this row of mono audio inputs and volt per octave outputs. Okay, so I'm playing with polyphony 3 here and a small detune. If I take this volt per octave output and hook it up to BOG, you'll see my three, me, my three uh, values, each of minus one, become nine values of minus 1.0081, 0, etc. Essentially what we've done is we've spread that volt per octave into nine voices. And then if I bring this back, so I get my nine voices, what I have now is three stereo voices. So we've taken the input volt per octave spread it across the pitch field, sent that to the mono source, taken the nine, which is three times three back, spread that across the stereo field, and now there we go. We're now participating in the, uh, the unison. I can go ahead and, you know, set my detune up to super high, right? Um, even extend the detune and then go to a full octave detune. And that's done by taking, again, three volt per octave, turning them into nine volt per octave, turning them into nine audio, turning them back into three stereo audio. So you might ask what happens if I go up to say, you know, unison eight here, right? Because eight times three is 24. That's not going to be enough voices. And you'll see, it says too many voices. Okay. So what I can do is I can duplicate this VCO and hook this in at the second spot. Okay. Now we get eight in times three voices, and you'll see you get 16 voices running here, and then the other eight here, if I take this down to seven, so we get 21 voices, Oop, yeah, six, yeah. sorry, let me make that a three voices, sorry. I'll go here and make this a polyphony seven, yeah. right? We now get 21 voices, 16 plus five going out, and it's parsimoniously spread across the stereo field, but when it comes back, has mixed into the seven voices here. So now, okay, that's a, Kind of a terrible sound. Let me to take this back down. Uh, give a little drift. Push the octave up on my keyboard. Right. Right. So there we go. Working in uh, working in with unison as we would expect. Um, uh, you know. Great. So now you can see that we can invite, and of course this goes for four and five. So if you want, you know, 16 poly into, uh, into 60, you know, into nine unison, you're going to need a lot of oscillators, but essentially you just duplicate the oscillators and bring them across. And this works great. But now what if you want to do something like uh, a CV control, right? The CV control has to follow the, uh, follow the same routing as the unison. So what we have, um, unison, Okay, I have this Unison CV expander. I'm going to sit this here, right? And what I can do is I can now take a control voltage and it will take that control voltage and duplicate it, assuming it has the correct polyphony in, with the polyphony out 
that is uh, required. So in this case, remember, we have seven in times three voices. So we get voice 111, voice 222, voice 333. And so if I put one, one through seven here, I'll get uh, 16 here and five here again to get us 21. So I can route that unison. So let me go ahead and grab um, like a quad, a search quad LFO. Okay. Um, and then I will, uh, Okay, so now this LFO should have unison seven, right? Great, and I'm going to make this a uh, a noise saw. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Okay, so now what I can do is I can attach this to uh, the FM here, and you'll see what I did is I followed the same route, and then I'll take that to uh, you know fifty percent, take that to fifty percent. <laughs> Whoa, right. Well, that's kind of what we thought would happen, right? Because we're doing LFO to FM. Um, but it worked, right? Um, uh, let me take the uh, take this down to 0.1 to, you know, 3%, something like that. That control voltage, I'll turn the volume down a little to not make it quite so deaf. Turn the rate up. Right. Each one of those oscillators is going, each one of those LFOs is going correctly to the matching voice. If I turn my detune down and then turn my rate down a little so you can actually hear that it's coherent. Cool. Um, and then if I turn the, uh, the uh, detune up a bit, so let's put it like a, a 10 cents here. You'll hear each voice in that unison is getting the CV applied while each being detuned. And cool. Um, so that's kind of how you do it. And of course, you can do it with anything else you want. You can route envelopes, you can route anything, basically any CV you want. And you can have as many of these stacked as you want. You can add another, um, you know, uh, another of these next to it, and it will just keep going. So you can basically pair as many CVs as you want along with it. So that's the Unison module, um, uh, which we think is kind of fun, and we hope you enjoy. Thanks very much.